Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. It's the end of the term as we know it. Do you feel fine? Nothing to worry about after you've watched this video. This video is especially for faculty and teaching assistants, but registrars and academic admins will find useful stuff here as well. And they especially might wanna notify their faculty about the video. We have some great resources to make the end of the term easier, and that's most of what we'll do here. We'll point you to other articles and videos that should help you out as you close the term. We also have a blog post that covers the same territory of this video. You can check that out down in the description. Okay, let's get into it. You've got to enter grades, get those final grades in. Listen, I assume that you've already been entering grades and that you know how to do it, but we have a video about grading for winners and a great article about entering final grades that you might want to check out. That knowledge base article also has instructions for entering course comments for students that might be a useful feature that you're not aware of. Very closely related to grading and all of that, you're going to be finalizing courses. That's when you commit your final grades to student transcripts and they either receive credit for the course or become sad. This is a pretty uncomplicated process, but it gets slightly more complicated when you introduce incomplete students and have to make adjustments for students who are still finishing work after the course ends. We've got you covered if you wanna step through the ins and outs of that process. You can find that video and article on finalizing courses down in the description. Little bit of a rabbit trail here. Course evaluations relate to the end of the term. Students are probably filling them out at the end of the term, but faculty, don't do anything with them other than receive them. And academic admins have hopefully dealt with creating those and assigning them to courses already. Once you've gotten your responses back, the academic admin and registrar roles can view reports on them. And depending on how those are set up, the faculty may be able to see their own evals as well. You can get more detail on that in the video and articles below. Alongside of that, I'm also linking an article on submitting a course evaluation and that might be something that you would consider distributing to your students. Okay, lastly, here comes the next term. This might have already come and gone for some of you, but academic admins and registrars will want to open up enrollment for next term. The article goes into much greater depth than the video that we're linking, but the video also links you to a more in-depth video. So really, the world's your oyster. For faculty and teaching assistants or academic admins and registrars who want to get their courses up and going for the next term, we've got an old favorite. Running Courses is a video that's a very thorough soup to nuts overview of the whole process of using Populi to run a course. Also, if you want to explore more training options, you should be aware of our focus sessions. These are one hour long training sessions that take place over Zoom. You and several other Populi users meet up with a Populi support rep, you get a little training, and then you get to ask questions. We have a rotating sequence of topics, so if you miss a session on something like admissions or billing, don't worry, it'll be rolling back around. You can get to the focus sessions by going to the knowledge base, clicking on release notes and announcements, and then clicking into focus sessions. We've also popped a link directly to the focus sessions down in the description. I've been Josh for Populi. You've been great. Thanks for watching.